All right, welcome back for Act 5, where we're gonna finally get this Ambu upgrade that I'm super excited about getting. And then also we have this new um, uh, Pandemonium Sentinel, so we can finally activate all three Sentinels maybe at once. So I'm just gonna move these nodes here. I'm gonna move my face out of the way first, and uh, I'm not sure, like, can we get this now? So I think what happens is we have to like level it up to actually get these. Oh, okay, oh, okay, so we can put in the points now. And then when we can activate it, we do activate it. I think that's how it works. And there's no other way I can path to get this yet. So, right? Okay. So once I get it, we can get that. So now it changes up some of the things with some of these nodes, but I don't have the other node. I want to get all three nodes first, because I think that's probably what would make the most sense for like gameplay efficiency. Uh, but that, let's go ahead and, I don't need this anymore. Uh, and then we're keeping like most of the currency at this point. And we can still keep these to roll uh, items. And uh, we have this awesome, awesome ambush charge coming up. So I don't have the, the things for this. So I'm just going to throw it in the locker and uh, forget it for now. Uh, this dash, it does have quality. If you want to keep all your quality stuff, basically take all your quality stuff. And once it reaches a certain amount, you'll get like a, a GCP for it. But like, I really don't care about doing that. Uh, so I'm just going to delete it. But I, I will like mention certain things. But I would say it's, it's not efficient to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Valentia. And there's actually only two quests that we actually need to do here that are important. Those two quests in here are actually called, I have my like little sheet over here, In Service to Science and Katavis Torments. So those are only two quests that you need to do for this act. And after that, you're, you're pretty much good to go. So let's continue with our massive amount of bonus damage. We're hit JML for our thing. But yours might be keybound to something. Different. I don't know what the default keys are going to be. Mine weren't even keybound. <laughs> I think we had to like click on them, but it's fine. You can click on them too. Oh, we're getting... Wait, how are we getting uh, endurance charges? I'm not sure what's granting us endurance charge, but that uh, reduces the damage that we take from physical attacks. When we're eventually gonna get it, ooh. Maybe it's from the Sentinel. So that I think the Sentinels can apply uh, like benefit effects. One of them was actually Tailwind, which we saw in the, the trailer of uh, PoE for this uh, league. But yeah, not four and five are really chill because there's no ascendancies uh, to grab. Um, I think there's, uh, there's that Valentus. I think it might be, ooh, I think it's to the left. It's usually to the left. What we're looking for is a broken part in the wall. See how that's like broken right there? Or like right here? That lets us uh, just flame dash up it. Uh, there's a tormented spear, but I could care less about it, to be honest. We got massive amount of survivability very, very soon though. Once we get that 43 and get that Ambu charge, whoo! Our survivability is basically good up until maps. And then with the damage, well, I mean, I could probably replace the ambush charge with like a five link one later or something else. But anyway, oh, we'll deliver this later when we get the next like waypoint and just be a little bit more efficient. Woo. And then now we leveled up. I'm gonna throw this thing in so we can get the extra strength requirements. Now we got the ambush charge, massive, massive extra amount of survivability. But watch our damage reduction. Goes from 28 to 61, huge. So we need Oh wait, we're moving absolution to the top. Okay, so I gotta actually do this. So we're gonna take, uh, yeah, we need to put absolution in here. So we take, uh, it's absolution, minion damage, whoops, minion damage, the added lightning damage, as well as a physical to lightning. And then this, we don't need anymore. And now in the ambus, we put like raise specter, the purity, skitter bots. Oh, oh wait, I need a spot for flame dash. Uh, we got six crumbs. All right, well, let's go. I mean, we, we only need one red. Let's see if we can hit it. Ah, oh, there we go, first try. We got kind of lucky on that, but it, it's fine. It's always gonna be red and blues. So now we're gonna activate our buffs once again. So we got all of our buffs up. And we are ready to go. Just gonna make sure Ablus has the correct one. Sometimes like I, I move stuff or like, it's always good to just to double check. But ideally we'd want to get a five link, but I'm probably not gonna get a five link uh, because of the level requirements. And I have no more money. Like one chaos orb will probably not get me a five link. It might get me a five link like, uh, like a two hander, but I don't want a two hander. I'd, the plus level of the skill gems is really powerful. 
and I'll, I'll, I can, I'll, if I remember, I'll bump up a sheet, but like, basically each level becomes more and more insane for like how much stats it gives. I should really stop summoning my skeletons now. The only thing I'm, I should be using my skeletons for is bosses, and that's only because it prevents me from taking damage. But at this point, like, our damage is so good, and our defenses are gonna be even, like, at the same, like, level of just amazing. So, but we're still gonna scale into damage, unless we, like, somehow feel like we're getting, like, melted. So this is 42 or 43, so, like, we're pretty efficient here. More than enough, so I can skip out on most of the stuff that we see. Skitterbots and Purity. So, yep, we're still going on. Ooh, there's the Essence over here. This one will be worth killing. Oh, what the heck? He's invulnerable until we, what, like we kill everything? Okay, there we go. I'm not sure how that mechanic works. Like, it, it, he might be invulnerable too. Oh, he just has like a brief moment of you can't hit him. Uh, okay. The only essence that I really like is getting is fear for our build. Because fear equals we throw on gloves. And there's another hideout over here if you want this uh, hideout. Okay, let's keep on going. Yeah, the invulnerable one. That one will obviously be a, a big threat. We have Desecrate because it requires Dex. Yeah, you you will run into Dex already, like, probably, but, like, it's just for creating corpses. It really doesn't matter that much. As far as zombies. But when we come up to it, like, uh, this boss. Maybe before, I can show you guys how much damage one level of absolution increases your stats by. It is massive. That's why I like getting those two levels. Uh, is something I wanted to try to get. We did get it. And I thought trade was broken. <laughs> because like I, I cleared it up so like there wouldn't be any like whispers uh, while I was doing like a, uh, another YouTube video. So we are still looking. Okay, well, we can talk to Lonnie for a reward, but we're still going to Death to Purity. It's probably to the right. A lot of times the map will be relatively accurate in terms of like where to go when you open up like the world map. If you need anything, you just click on the menu. I probably should have explained that before. But uh, yeah, at least I explained that at some point, right, Kappa? But uh, we're gonna go over here, the Templar Quartz. Now we can go back and we can go actually talk to um, uh, Service of Science and Catavis Torment. So those are two quests we need to do. So this one will grant us a skill point and we're gonna get probably more damage with it. Okay, so we're to Lonnie. And then we can get a reward. Uh, so this is where I guess you can get a granite flask if you want one. Um, the rest of the flasks don't really matter too much. Um, I'm just gonna pick this one because it, we can identify it. Like I will eventually use a granite flask towards the end. Uh, reduce duration but increase effect. I really don't need that one, but I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna scan it with my Path of Exile trade tool and it is worth, let's see. Uh, some people are trying to get like uh, some Alk, some chaos for it. I'm gonna put it in the cell tab. Um, so I'm gonna go throw it in one of these tabs that we can. Uh, let's see, public. Uh, so I'm gonna make one called 1C. Um, so I'll, I'll get into how to do this later, but like all I do is make it so like this stash type is public, then I put negotiable price on, I'll put like one chaos orb. But I, I'll go more into it later. You don't really need to start selling things now, but it will require it what's called a premium stash tab uh, and you won't have access to it by just playing the game. Yes. Um, you could also sell things by just typing it in chat, but like it, we'll talk more about selling things later because you really don't need to do it. 
Um, the, the chances of someone actually whispering are probably pretty low, but like if I can get that much for it, that'd be awesome. So we have reduced uh, mana cost and let's increase maximum mana. I do, there's another one down here where it's like reduced mana costs and it gives us life. That's the one that we actually want to put points into, but we'll, we'll go a path around that one. The one that I want is actually going to be this minion cast speed. Uh, we're going to grab these two. Then we get more life if we want to. But yeah, minion cast speed is going to be excellent. Because that's basically more damage. You know. Be able to attack and cast things faster. It's more damage. I mean, technically right now, we are actually dealing okay damage as well. What's our damage right now? 34? 3,400. Right, we get another, ooh, another sentinel. I'll put summon skeletons on this, because like I'm, I'm casting skeletons way too frequently. <laughs> I don't need to. I need to be using the uh, this thing, because I'm going to get way more value out of it. Uh, one of our golems died. Uh, what do I, have? I guess we can summon one of these things. Whatever we summon. That's oh, a skeleton. I want something like better. Let me see if I can get that. Uh, Summon one of these guys. There's these guys with the whips that if you summon, they can be okay too. But for the most part, and eh, most of the minions will probably die earlier on. When I'm ready and not Let's just keep on moving. Up there. Ooh, another level up. Another like big node and we'll wrap up one more time. You can see like our survivability just went through the roof. Once we got that ambush up and running, things became super easy. And we'll actually get we're actually maxed out on resistances too. Wow. Yeah. Max res. Very, very good. So these guys have a little like shield barrier and what you want to do with it I think it's called like something bubble but um, you want to get inside of them so like if you want to actually deal damage you have to be in them okay also if you're watching this YouTube if there's like weird sounds at play if you come on live stream you can also uh, play some funny sounds it's just for memes and extra stuff But it's not part of the Path of Exile experience. Like, at least, not built in. But it's just to add, like, a little bit more like, fun stuff to do. Right, I get that Absolution gem leveled up. What's the next level on the Absolution? Okay. Uh, 63 strength, okay. So we're still okay on strength. We might have to invest some more into strength very soon, though. Because we don't want to, like, level cap block ourselves uh, with that. As in, like, we can't use the next upgrade because we don't have, like, the strength requirements. So I'll still try to look into getting a little bit more strength. But usually strength's not that much of a problem. It's usually going to be dexterity that's the problem. This area is very, very big and it kind of does look like a giant, like, wraparound. Let's see, our XP is still really good. What is this? It's 44? Okay. Oh, something dropped over here. Could be good. Oh, orb fusing. Nice. And this next skill point. The next one's going to be big. It's going to be 8% increased cast and attack speed. And on top of that, we get to share the extra attack speed with the minions. But I don't believe we get it in cast speed as well. So it's kind of unfortunate. But if we do use like shield charge, which is like a possibility can benefit off of getting all like the, the minion attack speed. I wish it was minion attack and cast speed now benefits you, so a little better. Yeah, these things really should not be four. I, I I don't see any reason why they wouldn't just be one. Maybe like you put them in here and then they become larger, but I just think it's absolutely unnecessary because they take up so much inventory space. Or maybe if they were only used like once, then that would make sense. But like since you keep on getting them. Oh, and lots of scrolls of wisdoms. You get extra smart. Oh, we're going back up 
here. There we go. There's the location. Ooh, a lot of enemies over here. Nice. I need more mana. Pop up the portal scroll and let's go to the sanctum of innocence. The world must be cleansed of impurity. Oh, okay. So how this boss works, he's one of the most annoying bosses when you do him like in maps. Because later in the end game, you fight the same bosses but like harder versions of them. And he's one of the most annoying ones to do because he just he just takes so long. Because he doesn't just like fight you. He's like, I'm gonna summon a bunch of guys. And then he summons more more bunch of guys. Okay, there we go. He just has way too many phases, in my personal opinion. I understand for the campaign, but like later, um, I feel like he, he doesn't need that much. Like he, he, he can relax. So he has a few different phases. I'll, I'll throw up a bunch of um, projectiles that you can dodge. Then he'll do this move. Which will summon a bunch of, uh, it's almost like the Herald of Purities, the things that we like have over here. It's like Golden Warriors. It's a pretty easy boss fight. The only thing that would be difficult is when he summons a bunch of balls and they just kind of fly around. I don't even know if we'll get to it. Because we might actually kill him too fast. Let's see, he, he does do a beam just like Piety and all you gotta do is run. Do that again. It just depends on what what he decides to do. Okay. I don't think he even did that move once. Where he like has a bunch of um Innocence. Right. So we can leave or we can talk to him. Then we gotta travel back through the Templar courts. So we go up from here, and then now he'll say, What in damnation? And then you just go through the torch courts. Now everything's on fire, but we're going backwards kind of in some of the areas. Don't forget to click on the chest. It's definitely worth it. Like, even though we didn't get anything there, you, you never know. And kill this yellow. Let's throw on the, the buffs. Make some boss hard. When I'm ready. What's up, Riv? How are we doing? I need more mana. Are you new here? Woo! That, that, that's what we want, the Hussar Brigadine. But, like, we don't really need it at this point. Um, I'm just gonna that. I don't need it anyways. If anyone in the chat wants it, let me know. You guys are welcome. Just pick it up in the guild stash. Or just Hello, pick it up from me. Ooh, let's put a bunch of these gem points. Ooh. Oof! Why is it oof? We're doing pretty good though, Rip. Oh, or is that how you're doing? You're doing oof. We are blazing through content. Our damage is insane. We only have a four link, but that should be like pretty much good enough to get to maps, but the absolution. It's such, such a powerful build. We got a big node right here. Damage. Activating that thing ASAP again. I'm gonna try to use these more frequently, just because I wanna, again, see if we can A, get good rewards, which I'd still say is pretty weak. Even though we got that one, like, item in, like, the docks, it was pretty insane. I mean, you know, maybe it just takes time. Like, getting a superior 10%, like, it's going to be level 1, right? Unless it was, like, a really high level. It's really not worth it in the very beginning. There, we got to go 
the back. Uh, okay, so we gotta go to the ossuary. Ossuary. Which I believe should be like right here, right? Perfect. But we're gonna go back into town first in order to claim a reward. Oh, thank you, Riv. I appreciate the links. Some more content. Yeah. So we get any jewel we want. Um, at this point, more than likely, they're not going to be very good. I mean, we can try. So how jewels work is we actually go on the tree and we socket in this jewel socket. And then we take this and we place it in there and it'll give us whatever it says. Um, this one over here, not going to be too good. Um, Freedom comes to let's, get rid of the, let's see what this is too. To get rid of the stuff, stop the uh, clutter. We, we don't need cruelty anymore. Okay. And oh, freedom. Oh, here we got Bannon. So now we're doing uh, Katavis torments. So yeah, we gotta go to the uh, Bella Quarry. So we'll go back to Grun Square, and then we gotta find the other area. Oh, we need to summon our zombies again. Because they died, unfortunately. We still get uh, some more minion nodes if we want to. Get some more uh, resistances. Uh, at this point, our resistances are like pretty much fine. Yeah, we're, we're capping all of them. Uh, we got like good physical damage reduction. So Reduced by like 60%. It's 59, but it's it's good. I don't really want to invest in a block because block doesn't get really so good. So that's why it's so big. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, the sounds. All right, but yes, the the armor is really big. Like. It made a huge difference for sure. Well, I we haven't really came up to anything really like that hard since. Um... Now our specter's not dying. That's great. But yeah, we're in the relic where we're gonna be looking for three items in here. I'll open up these chests. I think they'll have an exclamation mark on it though. Forty-four, forty-five. Okay. I was just trying to keep track of the levels as well. Drop some armor, I guess. One stone. It's a red, blue, green link. At this point, I, I stopped really caring about picking up those kinds of things um, to, to sell. Obviously, if the orb just straight up drops, like the chromatic orb, pick it up. But if it's like a big item, I'm just like, eh. It's not, not really worth going back to town. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? This boss is uh, definitely a little tanky. Oh, can we melt them, but... A little bit dangerous, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. That guy did not mess around. Oh, our golem died. I don't like it when the golem dies, though. Cause it's kind of annoying, you have to resummon it. And the thing is, is, like, I got so many, like, things, I'm like, oh, also, this guy died. Our, our specter. But like I said, eventually they're gonna have so much HP and then we're gonna get this thing that makes it so like minions get to heal for a percent when another minion like dies. And our skeletons are gonna be constantly resummoned, so they're gonna constantly like die. And it just makes things so much smoother. I mean it's pretty smooth right now, like in terms of the gameplay. And once we get all of our flasks on auto use, it's gonna feel extra good. Lightning. Kind of gonna upgrade a dust crate, but we can't level up dust crate right now because we don't have the uh, requirements for it. I can right click on it to dismiss it, um, but we might get something later that will be able to facilitate the requirements. And we'll be good. Ideally, we get this thing called Death Attunement, uh, Anointed, but it's something we'll talk about a little bit later, or I can just get an item that has it anointed. So, what you can get Remember, in Path of Exile, which is really cool, you can enchant your amulet 
to get any one of the passives. Now, it doesn't work with the what's called keystones, but any of the passives um, you can get, uh, which is really cool, like anywhere on the tree. If I hold Alt, it tells me these colors, and I'm going to have to get these oils, and I put that on an enchantment. Uh, but that's going to be something for later on, or if we get into the mechanic, I can show you guys how it works because you can get items that drop corrupted that have an enchantment on them. And I specifically want this thing called Death Attunement. I could path up over there. It's like, what, one, two, three. It's not that bad. Like, I, I could path up to it. Um, and it's really not that bad of an idea either. Because, like, right now, I kind of want to keep my damage up really high, but more life is always good. So if I wanted more life, just type in life. And I could see on the, the tree where there is life. Uh, but some of them will be like life regen, so I gotta make sure I get the correct one. Um, I can get this, uh, I can get devotion over here, that's more life. Um, there's also, I'm definitely gonna be picking up this one over here, because this one goes into two points. Uh, let's see, or let's see, one, two, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess it's the same pathing. But this one allows me to go and get these cluster jewels. It's not bad. Um, I can respec out of this. This one's pretty nice to have just to get an extra specter, zombie, and skeleton. Uh, right now, our minions are basically scaled off of um, uh, our absolution minions. But later, we want like skeletons. Um, I mean, we could stick with absolution if I want to. Uh, let's see, this is re minion regen. Uh, there's no damage. Some people like to get this. I don't like to get it at all. I don't think it's necessary. And the accuracy is unnecessary. Um, so if I want to, I can path up up there. Um, let's see if there's any more life that I want. It's just two points away over there. I think we can get, uh, we can get some more life. I think the life will be worth it. The reason why is, again, our damage is so good. And this gives us, um, extra five resistances. Which later the game will start giving you negative resistances. And it just kind of helps out. All right, so now that we've done that, we got to go to the Ravenous God. So we're going to go over here. And from this waypoint, the Ruin Square, this is actually kind of important because it looks kind of confusing on where to go. You actually want to go here, and it's kind of hidden. This is another one of those, like, you just got to have someone tell you PoE things. I'm going to summon my um, zombies once again because they're all dead. I'm going to summon six of them. Okay, there we go. We got all six. And continue. Yeah, we'll get this life node and then maybe, maybe some more damage. It kind of just depends on you. If you want more damage, yeah, then I uh, get more damage. And so it's like over here and it's kind of hidden. Oh no, do we do need to do something first? Oh, you know what? We need the uh, we need to go to Ossuary first. Okay. So we'll, we'll go here back here in a second, but it's fine because we got the... Um, We got the thing. Blo hello, Blue, and hello, Dark Shadow. What's up, Path Vigsiles? What's up? For the next, like, I'd say about two weeks. Usually, I, I just play this. So now we're in Oshuar. So it's just at, right at the waypoint. We get an item, and then we're gonna go right back to where we were. There's the torment spear. We'll kill that. Rip that. Activate our little things. The buffed up enemies. There's the uh, soul fight. Actually, I think it's probably gonna go this way. If we want to get all the things, you can get it, but it's really not that big a deal. Oh, this contains some support charms. Uh, cast mortality. We can't really use any of these. If they were like high, high quality, like it was 20, I mean, we got the gem cutter. Oh, that's a card. We gotta get three of them though, and then we get a gem cutter's prism. I got all the way down for that thing. We get the sign of the purity. Now we go back. We can actually open up this and get a uh, crafting recipe also. Physical damage. We're just probably not going to be using that as like a crafting thing, but. Now we go back to the ruined square and it shows us like, like if you look at the map, it says like go up, right? We're right here. It tells us like go up. And this is where it gets kind of confusing because we have to go actually where I was going towards. 
now that we have like the map revealed can just go there ideally you do that first then go over here but i just uh, decided to go over here first but it would have been faster if i did that quest first so here's where it's kind of hidden like i said it looks weird because it's like what why is there a thing like over here you click on the little ladder and then you go up because it's really like small and now we go over here just do that thing again Spawn, Let's see if that's any good. Already full? Okay. Dang, I it's because that quest item is so big. Oh, currency, nice. Or binding, that's another nice thing to have as well. If we get lucky to get a couple chaos orbs, we can get a. Been really awesome, we got a flesh crafter actually this early on. That item is usually pretty cheap. I mostly want to get a six link. Just one of the items that we'll want. Or we can even get like Doriani's prototype for this. That's another like optional thing. Which makes it so the enemy's lightning resistance is the same as yours. Where it's like equal to yours and you just get yourself negative resistances, but uh, your enemies will take like an insane amount of damage. Chaos Orb, nice. Well, that will facilitate the amulet that I want to buy, which we will buy probably pretty soon, unless this gives us strength. Okay, cool. The reason why is because like I had to make sure it didn't give us strength. So we'll buy this. At, this is pretty fast for this act. Uh, we just blaze through Act 5 super duper fast, but it gets faster. Oh, go put the thing on the cradle. Now we have another skill point. Put it into life. And then for this one, um, there's not really another thing you get. You can get like vitality or reservation efficiency, and I could put maybe a couple points more into vitality. Just so I get some extra regen. Would be nice as well. So when he does this little hand thing, just move out of the way. He'll start from one side and then go like almost all the way. It's a cool looking boss though. So don't stand in the red. And what happens is his heart comes out. And this is like your chance to damage him. So he does a good amount of damage. Ooh, wow, that's our first death. I was actually kind of testing out, like, you know, we're pretty tanky. Okay. And it's okay if you die. Especially on the bosses. A lot of the bosses have so much damage to the point where, like, it's unrealistic. Although that time, I stood in some AoE and then took the damage. But it was mostly just to test out how tanky my character is. RIP. But yeah, also looking at the uh, the general chat sometimes can be like a nice source of extra entertainment. <clears throat> but technically you're supposed to get knocked out anyways here. Okay. Well, now we're gonna go travel to Ray class. Talk to Lily, and we're gonna go back actually Remember. to Act One, but in the future, so it's considered Act Six. So that was really fast. That was like 30 minutes. One of the faster acts, is because it doesn't have any like the uh, the like little trial of ascendancies and stuff. The next act will have a bunch of trials. The act, oh uh, yeah, the next. Well, actually, this act has one, and then we have some extra quests to do and stuff, but. Since this one was pretty short, let's go talk about, um, well, let's put these sentinels back in. These, okay, this one has no charges, so this one's like worthless. So I wonder if you can actually elk that, but let's just go throw these in. So this, this one, we have all the orbs of alteration. I think we have to go to Tsuni. Um, how many, because it's 10? Okay, it's, it's worth it for 10. All right, so 
with div cards, um, what you gotta do is you have to have the max amount of stacks. You can go to SUNY over here, and you could there go to him and you can trade divination cards. You take the full stock. If it's full, it'll be in like a blue line. Take it to him, you hit trade, and he'll give you whatever it says that it gives you. Like this right here, I need four of these to get whatever it gives us. Uh, if it doesn't say that it has a level, then it'll be to your character's level most of the time. There are some exceptions to some things, but that's kind of how it works. But um, yeah, so that's how that works. Uh, what's this? What are we gonna do? Oh, recovery. But I do want to go ahead and buy an amulet. I have a chaos orb. If you have a chaos orb or, or at least one or two orbs of alchemy, you should be able to buy this. Sometimes the, the the market fluctuates all the time in Path of Exile, so whatever I'm mentioning could be cheaper or more expensive depending on the day and the time. Uh, but what we're looking for uh, right now, and I'm gonna go purchase one. I'm gonna hit refresh because I actually had this like saved up, uh, like I had this like like basically bookmarked. Okay, so it's two chaos orbs. So the other one got bought up. All I'm looking for is do I need to put an enchantment? Okay, so you'd want an enchantment on it, but I want to look for to total level of all lightning skill gems because that's the way we scale our damage right now. Later, we don't care about this, but right now we do. Um, so uh, what we're looking forward to getting is anything that has the plus to lightning. The rest of the stuff is all black and ice bonus. Right now, these are all two chaos orbs. I can't afford it, but if I wanted to, all I would do is hit whisper. It would copy and paste it, and I would do the same thing that I did before when I'm trading, and then we would go ahead and get the item. Um, I could maybe buy one chaos or let's actually do that because this is kind of important for like learning trade right so i'm going to go to the poe.trade website i'm going to go to currency market and i'm going to say i want a chaos orb and i have orbs of alchemy and then this one is one to four so i would like to buy your one chaos from my four alchemy and we'll see if he responds and we'll kind of just go down the list and more than likely, it's just gonna take a long time. So to do it faster, I just you just go to someone that wants one to five, and more than likely he will purchase it. Some of these are bots, by the way, which is usually in games I hate bots, like because it ruins the currency and economy. But honestly, for Poe, oh shoot, um, wait, uh, that's fine. Uh, it's like one of my okay, Japanese go enemies. Guy. Even though this guy's more expensive, it's fine. Oh, I don't have the quest state. Okay, so he's in the Sarn encampment. So we have to wait for him to either come to us or go to uh, a certain area. Okay, that's fine. He went to Lionel's Watch, and I can buy his Chaos Orb, because I actually want the other thing. Um, here we go. Okay, there we go. And that's how you can buy stuff. So that's basically how it works. All right, so now uh, this is th the item that that's selling it is level 60. Uh, they're all gonna be 60, dang. All right, so we can't use it for another 13 levels if I go buy the amulet, so I might just hold off. I mean, getting another Chaos Orb is totally fine though, because like having Alk isn't bad either, but there's really nothing that I need to Alk right now. I definitely want a much better amulet, but the much better amulet, um, let me see what this does, because this allocates um, a certain thing. Let me go to P Wiki. There's a lot of these things. Okay, so destructive apparatus. Okay, that thing is completely worthless. So see how it says uh, it's enchanted and it allocates this? Um, this thing is absolutely worthless for us, so we don't really want it. So that doesn't really help us out at all. But that's what um, the enchantment does. So basically look for that. I'm just gonna keep up in a tab. What I like to do, there's just like separate third party tools that can make like sounds, but I just refresh it every once in a while. Well, I'm like doing stuff like while well, I'm uh, going to be doing this next uh, act here, uh, I'm going to be checking up on this. I'm going to refresh and just be, just check out because we're, we're going to hit level 60 pretty soon, and um, we're going to be able to purchase that, and that's going to give us extra lightning uh, skills. And obviously, with absolution, that's going to scale up until we get dead reckoning, which is the jewel that will be. Uh, right now, it's kind of expensive, but by the time we hit the end game, the price of it will be a lot cheaper. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning, guys. If you enjoyed this part uh, of Act Five. Drop a like on it on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next part for part six. Take care, and I'm out. Peace.